the same uh, diagnosis that you all heard. And this was kind of an, a, an odd game, you know, with Giannis being out, Tyler being out. Uh, There's a lot of moving parts throughout the course of the game. Uh, and then, you know, there's uh, some moments that got a little bit harrowing, but uh, our, our guys showed uh, a lot of grit, you know, to be able to handle a, a lot of different things. Um, and they made, you know, a few pushes during the game, and we were able to hold them off and, and secure one win. And, and that's that's it. That's all we're uh, uh, thinking about right now. So we got to, um, you know, just uh, uh, figure out, you know, and rest and, and get ready for what we can expect is a, a, a very competitive game, too. Um, another two-word question, Jimmy Butler. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like I've said so many different things over the course of uh, these four years, uh, but he is uh, just a brilliant competitor. You know, he does it uh, on both ends of the court, um, and he, he has an innate feel for what's necessary during the course of a game. Uh, we needed, obviously, some, some offensive punch, some triggers, uh, just something to settle us all down. Um, particularly when uh, we found out Tyler uh, was was out, uh, and Jimmy was able to do it in a lot of different ways in the post, uh, the elbows, uh, the mid post, uh, as a screener, as a handler in pick and roll. Uh, you know, we needed all of that, uh, but none of this was happening without uh, a lot of different contributions. Uh, everybody that played, you know, put their fingerprints on it in some fashion, and you know that's what you need in the, in the playoffs, particularly against a, a very good uh, team. Yeah. Well, he was kind of in front of y'all's bench, seemed to be in pain. Was it a deal where y'all kind of knew it was a pretty significant? Yeah, case? you know, he was in so much pain, but I didn't really know what it was. I mean, there, there's, you know, a lot of times you jam a finger or, or this or that, and you, or, uh, you know, you get a stinger in the elbow, and then uh, it, it kind of wears off after 30 seconds. Uh, you know, so I didn't burn a timeout there. Um, because, <laughs> uh, you know, things were moving kind of fast, and I couldn't even understand what he was saying. I've had enough of those where uh, it isn't something, and you're able to, to run down and got to say they're okay. But uh, clearly he, w he was not. Nick's always helped with these big games, and then even against folks that drop. Is this a kind of a shot profile they're going to have to add to this series? Yeah, and, and it may differ at different points of the, of the game. But, uh, you know, Jimmy was able to be assertive, uh, you know, throughout the course of the game, and then when we really needed some relief buckets, you know, this is now for a, a long time. Bam, really, you know, working on that. Our team working on that uh, against that coverage. He was able to knock down some some big ones uh, down the stretch that just kept that separation. Uh, but that's not something that's just happened, you know, in the last 48 hours. And on the flip side of that, how important was it that the Venom was able to draw Coach Al to some major blocks? Yeah. Uh, you can just never underestimate uh, the, the uh, decorated veteran experience of guys that have been proven winners, uh, and that's what uh, Kevin brought us tonight uh, in a totally different way, but in a similar way as Jimmy. Uh, there was a calmness to him, a, a competitive fire uh, to him. That's a hard balance to have both those things. Uh, and he knocked down some, some big ones uh, you know, to keep their defense honest. I mean, the, what they do is, is very unique. Uh, but he was able to, to knock down a few of those. Uh, his rebounding was good. His pick and roll coverage uh, was very solid. Uh, but this is not his first rodeo. He's been he's been in a lot of these kind of uh, games. You know, knowing full well, defense is first. But the fact that you average what you average in plus nine, and certainly in the regular season offensively, you start the playoffs at 136. What about where the offense has transitioned? Yeah, right now it's it's by any means necessary. You know, I, I don't even. I'm not even looking at like that because the next game could be totally in the mud, and it, it could be an Eastern Conference game in the '90s. Uh, I, I think probably since we've had to uh, play a lot of different styles this year due to the moving parts, that we've had to be defensive minded, keep games close. We've also had opportunities where we would, uh, you know, score a, a bunch of points and. and you know, uh, maybe in, in some way that's helped us, uh, you know, develop some different kind of games uh, that y you definitely need in, in the playoffs. Given what you were saying about Tyler and his experience and what he can bring in the playoffs, were you guys surprised that we were able to get him in such a unique in game? Yeah, I don't know. You know, every team's going through, you know, something. It, it's a, it was a, a 
positional and team fit for us. So much of this league is about fit and timing. You know, regardless of, of the player or, or the situation, uh, for us, uh, there was uh, a need for a guy like Kevin. Uh, and, you know, it happened, you know, just at the right at the right time. And he's had to, you know, figure things out. Uh, but he, he's an experienced veteran player that that truly cares about winning. So those guys, you know, they figure out how to fit in and, and complement, um, you know, what you're doing. And that, that's what he's done. All right. Thank you. Thank you.